Not enough what? Not enough population capacity. Uh, do we build a food market and housing? And if so, where do we build it? I need to build houses. I don't feel like I have a housing district. Do you know what? For now, I think I'm just going to go and build down here. Oh, what? We don't have any logs. What are you doing? Oi! Get out of there. Get wrecked. You don't know what to do. Well, I don't know what you want to do either, so that makes two of us. Machinery, we need that to make metal wagons. Hopefully we can make this fit. See what pick. Right, two lots of beef. I'm going to have to redo this. I'm thinking we can like have these three here, like lower feed from there and upper feed above it. I think that should work. It just means breaking all this first. Right, so we have three beef. This guy, oh, we're gonna need three workers just to put water in these things. Can you believe it? Three people to do the job that one could do. Right, you do that one. You do that one. Can you not automate the water supply? Yeah, we've saved the red. The red coin has been saved by fish. <laughs> So what I'm thinking is, uh, let's just destroy all this. Need to be careful. I don't know if these guys are going to be able to get water to this thing. I want to come in like low and come in high. So one belt feed comes in low, one belt feed comes in high. That's what I'm trying to do. But I've got a feeling it's going to block these from walking around. I don't know how high you can feed stuff into this thing. Put a well one block away with a grabber. It can feed very fast. I don't think I'm going to have enough room for it, but... Wait, you can have a grabber do this? Put a well one block away with a grabber belt. It can feed very fast. So you can auto feed it with a grabber. Okay, I gotta see this. Hang on. Go away, go away, go away. Let's try this. So you're saying if I put a how much water's that got? 20. It's 
got 10. This is a good test. Right, so if I put a well... Like that. And then build a grabber. Like that. And say grab... What does the tile look like for water? Bucket of water. There we go. And then what? Just put a... Put a shoot on it or something? A belt. <laughs> As if. I like that. That basically saves a worker. Okay. I like that. That's a good one. Uh, right. So. So this one can be fed with a belt on this side. What am I doing? I've got the dropper tool now. Life is golden. Okay, that's that fed with water. So we want to split this one off here and here and here. Turn that down before bad things happen. I don't think I haven't worked out in my head just yet. It's how to get water to this one. <laughs> I think we're a bit cramped on space. Unless like a stick. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if we stick... This this guy's going to hate this. What if we stick a well there like that? And then we have like one guy whose only job it is to just stand there, unable to leave, doing this with a bucket. <laughs> like, you will not leave here, mate. <laughs> oh my god. Right. <laughs> Completely trapped. Well, no, I can't get a grabber to turn, can I? That's the thing. I can't get a grabber to turn. Right, now then, for this bit, thinking, oh, why have I put that as conveyor? Wait, I think it has to be conveyor, doesn't it? Which I don't know. Looks a bit weird. Half shoot and half convey looks a bit weird. Maybe, maybe it'll work. Because I don't know. Do these scat? Do these splitters work on shoots as well? They do. So I could actually replace. Get rid of that. Oh, 
Uh oh. That was unintended consequence. <laughs> oh, rip. Not to worry. I don't know if that's going to work or not. One second. Look, this, this is going to throw things out of there. You shouldn't be allowed to do that. <laughs> this thing is feeding directly. Put a splitter on the red arrow. I just did. Actually, you know what? We could just have it do that anyway. That's actually a neater solution. One sec. We don't need that feed at all, do we? Thinking about it. Just do that. I think that'll work. And then this one just comes over the top. To manually rotate the shoot as an L shape. I can't actually see what it's doing down there. So, why is it not splitting that way? can't actually see what's going on because this icon's covering it Can you split this three ways? Every time I try and connect that to there, it just draws right through. It's not going to work with the shoot. I was beginning to think that. It doesn't look like you can. Like the belt will do it, but the shoot won't do it. It will. It doesn't. Explain how I make that last connection to there and not beyond. Using R while placing a chute and you can control the direction the chute connects. Okay, let's try this. So what... Which of these do we want? Because we want it to go three ways. good if they overlap because the split won't happen will it 
25 months, Empress Cecily. Thank you very much. Grey Cap Leader, welcome back. From the door to the right, door to the left, then door straight. As if, as if that works. <laughs> That's some jiggery pokery to get that to work. The shenanigans. Flare pen, man. Oops. Oh, no. I knew that was going to happen. I hate the way it does that. And the real question is, will this feed into here? But so shows it's evenly divided exactly. So I think that is not feeding into the. I think. It's so hard to see what icon is on the. Okay, I don't know if that's going to load in there or not. We won't know until this thing gets going. Because currently it's full. Actually, if I... Trash. Yeah, it does. Oh, it's loading. It's loading top and bottom. Woohoo! <laughs> oh, and breathe. Right. Now these guys here... The I think I'm just going to move them forward just to make life a little bit easier. So we'll take the barn. Buy an extra space. Right, so these are going to produce uh, beef and fertilizer, and we need to split them. Create a bottom track for fertilizer and a top track for meat. Uh, 
that's fertilizer so if we go for Make the final connection at the end. <laughs> oh, right, let me go for logistics. Um, hmm. We need to grab to filter, or can we merge? We have to grab to filter, I think, don't we? We have to do that though, we have to grab filter. Which is I actually wish you could search. I have to sit here and scroll through icons to find the fertilizer bag. probably gone past it like four times there it is machinery machine shop packager i don't even know what a packager is metal conveyor belt metal conveyor belt harvester drill what does a packager do Don't say it packages things. Right, that's going to filter onto there. That's going to filter onto there. That's going to go from there. That's going to go there. There we go. And then we just want an upper version of this, I guess. Ooh. I take it there's no such thing as blueprints in this game. So you can't make like designs and then copy your designs and then have bots make things for you. Beef, that's getting beef, that's getting beef. Dude, I'm still learning. So yeah, I keep missing things out, but let's see if everything's actually working now. We've got input or fertilizer, water, fertilizer, water. We've got storage of that. We've got beef coming through. Lots of beef coming through. 
now we've got a problem with Are they just not working fast enough it looks like way <laughs> you gotta get a permit dude place a belt facing your pasture in front of the well you can if you place if you place a belt facing your pasture in front of the well grab it on the belt out of the well instead of workers standing there I can post a screenshot See if I can still click on it. Wait, so is that putting buckets of water onto the chute? Well, you've got a grabber grabbing water out of a well and it's pointing at a chute. So how else can that work? Oh boy, this guy can't get enough water. Look at this. This guy can't run fast enough. We're going to have to put a well down. Why can't I build? Occupied. No. I've got nowhere to pipe water in. the water it won't let me it won't even let me build like over the top of it we're gonna have to sacrifice something here do that let me build a grabber Hey, you're fired, pal. You're not quick enough. Okay. Even that is only just keeping up with it. You only need the support at the start points, then you can clip the scaffold into the one beside it. We've got 10 workers in here. They're absolutely smashing the grain out. Look at it. But the crop was withering away. Anyway, what's happening down here? <laughs> Beef coming in. Beef flying out. Coal's doing okay. Fish is still... Ooh, that fish is low. Fish is about to deplete completely. 8.7k in red coins, though. Get in. I don't understand how his water chute works because he said it doesn't put buckets on the on the chute, but it does according to that. You can essentially have a floating village on scaffolding as long as one area is supported. Crazy hacks. Time for some mines. I've probably like half the town's probably depleted and stuff and <laughs> nothing's working, but how are you supposed to get that? Oh hello. Welcome back. Yeah, look. We're, but we've like got no more use for all this stone we're making. Dr. Dre has gifted a sub to Timidon. Thank you very much, Dre. Timidon, you just got a free sub from the man, the Dre. The mod Dre. Ben Davies. Or Ben Davies. Ben Davies. 
<laughs> Welcome back. I mis totally misread your name. <laughs> For the well problem, it seems to grab it and the belt are not aligned. Uh, what do we need to build a mine? Probably loads of metal stuff. Yeah, look, we need 50 rail tiles just to build a mine. 50 rail tiles? And I'm guessing that's made in the machine shop. Which we can now actually make. Right, so iron wheels, I think that's more important because then we can make um, the metal conveyors, which go, which take a lot more stuff. Factoria update just dropped. Lel. The logic tells the item to do something on the block, that's it. The grabber is telling it to grab an item from the well, not to push it nearby. So it grabs from the well and places it on the belt, not push it further. Yeah, I get that. I said, is it, is it putting the water, the bucket of water onto the chute? And you said no. But you're saying it is putting it onto the chute. Is that right? I'm confused. Gears. This is sounding like Factorio. Gears. Iron wheel. Sellable for gadgets for four blue coins. Nice. It'll push it onto the belt that the grabber is on. Okay, so it it grabs okay, it grabs the bucket of water onto the conveyor belt. Where does it go from there? What's happening then? The grabber's output is the tile it is on. But it's not sat on anything, is it? How does that feed the pasture? I don't get it. The belt is facing the pasture. No, it's not. The belt is facing the chute. The belt is at a 90 degree angle. Oh, I didn't spot that. I see. I, I can't, You can hardly see that. That's a subtle thing. You've got the belt going into the pasture. Yeah, I didn't see that. Okay, I get that now. Iron wheels, plez. Iron plates. Iron plate. When you do build a mine, I take it you have to put it around these things, but isn't this going to deplete anyway? Like everything, all these things are going to deplete, aren't they? Blimey. Why on earth have you got iron ore in there? Yeah, I can kind of see that there's some meta game here. Some of the tricks you can pull by just by understanding the way the game works. Like Factoria is the same. You have to learn how things work and then you can do weird stuff. Oh yeah, I can see that. What's the problem right now is we've got loads of nails and just iron iron bars is just a real problem. We cannot get enough iron ore. How can I speed up the iron ore going into here? Like you can't... I suppose I could tell them to drop it onto a chute, couldn't I? Maybe that's the thing. That way they only have to walk to the chute and the chute just fires it in, maybe. Let's try it. Oh, 
which might elevate it. Get out of the way, workers. Scumbags. Do you think they'll still be able to put things on, though? Alright, let's try it. You. Stuff on the shoot. I don't think they can reach. <laughs> they can't reach it. They're like, huh? We can't do this. They got little arms. They're like, no. How are we supposed to? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I can't elevate it then. Uh. Oh well. Oh, why do you get rid of the floor and not this? Look, this this makes no sense. You can click to get rid of that, and then you try as you will to get rid of the wooden frame, and it just deletes the floor every time. It's just, just annoying. The floor should be the last thing to go. Any structure on top of it should go before that. Put it over here just to give him a bit of space. I don't know if we're all going to be able to cram around this chute. Oh my god, did I just see that they're trying to path all the way around the trees to get there? Put a little side chute at the end closest to the building so others can load part way down. You mean like that? Will they figure it out? Are they going to go for a massive walk? I'm still seeing people running straight to the barn, you know. I think I should have probably just turned it here, shouldn't I? Oh, there he goes. Genius. Yeah, I think with hindsight, we should just load it like here. And then they could easily walk around. Or even here. I 
by the way some of them clip inside the rocks though. Still can't get enough iron ore. So when's the guy gonna add some audio effects and stuff? Because it's just it's completely silent. Like when you click shoots and things, he makes a noise, but you can't hear them doing anything. Wow, this forge has got no fuel. What? It looks like logs don't burn very well. It's on the roadmap, but fixing bugs is higher than priority list. Hmm. This is taking logs and it's just got no logs to burn. It's extraordinary. It's like as if it's just, I don't know, lasting five seconds. Weirdly enough, that one's got loads. Enchanted accessories, advanced logistics, steam power. I have no idea which is more important. Eric is the only developer factory town currently sitting. He has a 70 page to do list. <laughs> Why is the guy developing on his own? Enchanted accessories, unlocks gold ingots, magic cloaks, magic robes. Steam generator. Health potions. Advanced logistics. Blimey. Look at this, the Boolean function. The delta block. Oh my life. Oh, we'll try the steam. I take it this is act I mean it must be getting the wood because it's smelting, so it's just not getting it quick enough. So this forestry here, are you actually able to sort of build stilts? And, and elevate it up so that you can just shoot it straight down. Is that a thing? Can you create a second loading point from a single conveyor belt? Wouldn't make any difference, would it? That's running at max output because the belt's slow. The downside of the belt is the speed. The shooter's a lot quicker. That's why I'm wondering if you elevate this up, you don't think you can with a forestry? No. So the shoot is so much quicker. That's level five. We need to get the mana crystal to upgrade. Blimey. I bet the fish has run out. Oh no, still going. Still some fish left. Wait, why is this... as far as it I take it if you make yeah there you go so if you make it a farm tile 
it grows like higher by the look of it. Making metal belts will be quicker. Possibly. I seem to have an iron problem. Can use the belts to get it some height and then shoot them down roller coaster style. But any chain is only as quick as the slowest thing, isn't it? So if you're only putting things in at like 30 per minute and then shooting it away at 60, in Factorio, that's like having a yellow belt filled with red belt. It's not going to make any difference. Good evening again, one. There you go, they're like full height now. So I'm hoping that'll produce more stuff. This thing can't, like, I can't make stuff any quicker at 400%. We're chucking out grain balls like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> you can have more than one belt um, going down there, yeah. But I don't know how quick... you can double input it just stack that up again and have one going in there one carrying on and then you can scale this up I guess Put a grabber on here though. Yeah, that's run out of stuff and the main output gets priority by the look of it. Look at that. See how that goes. Three belts up, one shoot down. Is there a, a published kind of rate anywhere for the belts and the shoots like how quickly they move things so that you can actually work this out is that somebody's worked it out as three conveyors one shoot because like with factorio you they publish very detailed you know what carrying capacities there are does he do that at all on, on a a wiki or something if you do a 45 degree scaffold ramp against the forester, you can put a chute down it and a grabber and it'll have momentum leaving. 45 degree angle scaffold ramp against the forester, you can put a chute down it. Oh, I see. So, with a chute, is there a limit on the speed? Or... Let me put it this way. If I build a horizontal chute and put an item on it, it goes down the chute, doesn't it? If I build a ramp go downhill and then go horizontal is that going to go quicker there is physics right that's that was my question like can you use gravity to help you <laughs> or is the shoot limited in speed okay we've got a much better supply Ooh, ooh. i've got iron ore and wood. Look at this. It can't increase the workers. We're actually smelting properly. Okay, right. What does this thing need? Iron plates. Uh, 
Така полет ме това. Self build a too many workers. I wonder if I can actually build a house here. Oh my god. I thought we were keeping logs somewhere. Wait a minute. I was going to say, where are these logs going? Right, we're going to split these logs and store them. Oh, for sure, Mike, for sure. There's way more than one way to do this. Right, so if we build... Some kind of log storage going on. <laughs> the jumping AI looks hilarious. That's because they don't have any legs. Five house built. More workers unlocked. Can now build a wagon. Uh, you can get iron off of that. My plates and bring it here. Hopefully I'll be able to nix them. There we go. And this should allow us to make the uh, mine carts. Actually, isn't this going to need fuel or something? Apparently not. Imp, how are you doing, sir? Are you well? Why can't humans walk like that? I don't know. One sec, I need a bio break.
of over 100k in gold coin. <laughs> You're doing well. Good to hear it, sir. We've unlocked the steam generator. I have absolutely not a Scooby-Doo what we do with it, but we've unlocked it. So that's a good thing. Oh, look. See, we've actually got some iron wheel storage, which means we can actually build a minecart. Oh, it needs 10 iron plates as well. And a hundred gold coins. That's not good. We're going to need a storage of iron, of iron plates. I think ugh, it's cold. I kind of feel like we need another um, iron smelter thing, a forge. But what I'm wondering is, how much is it to get a mine? Oh yeah, it's fifty rail things. That's not easy. A steam generator requires a hundred iron plates. So again, like it's all about the iron, isn't it? There's a big iron deposit here. Probably need another smelter here. Happy anniversary, Nata. We could take this, feed it into a smelter. Does it tell you anywhere what the burning potential, like the energy potential of wood versus the energy potential of iron ore versus the energy potential of fertilizer? Because, oh, here you go. It kind of tells you in numbers, doesn't it? Look, one fertilizer or two wood or four coal. Wait, what? Surely that's upside down. That doesn't mean you need four coal to do the same as two wood, surely. That means it lasts four times as long. Imp, are you coming to Berlin? I am, dude. I am coming to Berlin. My flight is booked. My hotel is booked. I bought my TwitchCon tickets. Are you going? You must be by the sound of it. Coal has four fuel, wood has two. Right. That is confusing, but yeah, okay. So coal is better, twice as good as wood, and wood is twice as good as fertilizer. See, that iron thing, where is it? The iron forge, the one that's producing nails. Nails are full up. Like, we hardly use nails. We only use them to make reinforced planks. We're not using that many of those. So this wood line could potentially steal. <laughs> you bought your flights last week. You're working, though. I don't know what you look like, so I won't have a clue how to find you. <laughs> like, how, how can I find you? That's my question. Tools, flatten. Just flatten this off. There we go. El Plagiato, yeah, I'm going to Berlin. Uh, let's see. So iron ore deposit. Again, we're going to need loads of workers. Loads of minions throwing things on a chute. I'll do. The left wood line seems tapped out. Yeah, the left one is because uh, the forge, which is making the iron plates, is smashing it. Whereas the other one is only making nails. Nails are only required at the moment for the reinforced. 
thingies, which means it's going down way slower than that one. That's continuous, more, more or less. How do you put items on the quick bar? So, when you've got something in your hand, like a sorter, you basically hold shift and press the key that you want it to go onto the hotbar. So if I press shift seven now, bottom hotbar will do that. And also F1 to F4 has, you've got four different hotbars. That's worth knowing. You don't have your schedule, all right? It would be a shame to miss you somehow, sir, but I don't know what you look like or where to find you. So, <laughs> so there is that. Rob Jensen! And Mr. Ribkey with the host. The dynamic duo are here. Thank you, guys. Hope you're well. Came in like a wrecking ball. Let's build a forge. Let's build a forge. The iron forge. Yeah, that's... I wonder if it could support two of these things. Hmm. That's the storage, isn't it? So we'll say iron plate. Then we're going to split this. You figure something out. All right. Let me know somehow. You played some breakfast. Not played that in ages. This game is as addicting as Factorio. Yeah, you kind of got that right. Steam generator requires fuel and water to produce steam. Then you can connect pipes to the other production buildings to give those buildings higher production speed. Oh, right. So in this game, it's not used as power or electricity. It's actually used as like a boost. Interesting. Because it doesn't... It doesn't actually give you the clue. When you click on the forge, it doesn't actually say anywhere that it could be boosted by something. Belly nutty town. <laughs> Kinda. I'm not sure actually. Logs rolling in. We just need minions to put things on the uh, chute. Also, we need a way of transporting quickly. I wish there was more than a one gap though. Happy anniversary, Nata. Hey, 
ay, 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 ay. I don't want to ditch iron ore, but we may have to. Because having wagons going up and down here ain't going to work. Land pipes in Factory Town is very similar to the other city build games. Press G to go to the pipe building overlay. Okay. You add steam connectors to buildings, then connect pipes between them. The pipes are not a physical object. They don't obstruct anything. Right, so they're like a, a Skyline's pipe then. Why don't you use a grabber from behind the Forester? Well, why not suggest that before I do this? <laughs> we could make a one-way circuit here, if I actually knew how. Hang on. Paths. Where's the one-way circuit stuff? Logistics, maybe? Here we go, one-way. So can you, like, do that and then do that? Maybe? Happy anniversary, Nutter. I just saw that guy go the wrong way. Hmm. Do I have to put one way items on every? How does this work? Yeah, well, we'll see how it goes. You load that, you load that. What? That's this dancing thing is very hard to work out who's confused. You're doing nothing. The left and right mouse click thing is an interesting mechanic. Yeah, he seems to be doing the right thing. Oh, 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 you see, that was the worry of the one-way thing. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this resource here. And we're going to have a one-way loop going out of here. Like this. I like the fact that you can do this. Wait, wait, where you go, bro? Where are you going? What's this? What's this? You can't ignore the... <laughs> There's always one. Maybe he just didn't understand the new signs and maybe he understands it now. I don't know. Oh man, I would love to be building up a surplus of land, but we're just not. It's just not happening. Are we selling it or something? Like, where's it all going?
Bum, yeah, right, what are you doing? So you're sending it to the and the and here, the workshop. Ah, we're selling the axes, aren't we? The pickaxes. The machine shop's getting some for this, but they are. Is there any way of like controlling how much stuff you sell? So the problem here is, right, we're making all these iron plates, but they're all being taken to the workshop and made into pickaxes and they're being sold, which is great, except we've got a metric ton of red coin now, so we don't need to sell all these iron plates. So how do you sort of throttle it back? How do you say, like, you know, slow down, don't make stuff, like reserve some iron plates in the barn, don't take so many, like, what do you do? How do you control consumption? Um, what are you guys doing? Stone, I assume. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stone depletion is real. One barn storage, one barn flea market. Is that it? Is that the only way to solve it? If your workers have separate barn for building supplies you want to keep rather than sell. Yeah, I can't. I mean, I've done that already. I just wondered if there was a better way. Like, because I've seen that later on, there's um, logic stuff. So I wonder if perhaps that was something to do with it. You know what? I think I think it's better rather than have workers load onto chutes, I think it might be better to load into a barn and have the barn load onto a chute. Because I think I think a barn has more access points around it. So it might be more efficient. So we could just basically drop that there like that. Right, you load that. It's a nice logic block guard of the Wikipedia. Cheek block guide, blimey. All right, let's have a look at that. 
Thank you, dude. You wish there was a copy and paste command. Well, there's a press press a key to um, eye drop like Factorio, which is on the C key by default, but I remapped it to Q, so it's like Factorio. That's the nearest thing you've got to copy paste because you just press Q on a barn and you can copy it. It doesn't copy what it was doing, like um like Factorio does. It doesn't copy the the kind of recipe. But it just just copy the building or the structure. So if you look at that, there's way more access points around this this building than there is around a chute. Oh boy, it's going nowhere. I might reassign a worker to the. That's only making conveyors anyway. Uh, so right, the solution over here then is to basically store it locally rather than throw it all into the uh, pickaxe brigade. So I think what I'll do is I'll build another barn over here for iron. Because I don't really want it stored over here. I'd rather have it here where the workshops are. So we'll do that. And then this guy will tell him to take iron and store it there instead. Right, now we're building up some iron plate. That guy you just reassigned might end up dropping the stone off in the building he was holding. Might contaminate the wood shoes. I thought he was holding stone. These guys were doing stone, weren't they? This lot. I grabbed him from here and told him to go there, didn't I? They weren't doing wood. Interesting. Okay, this isn't getting enough wood now. It cannot... It's basically... Restricted by the amount of fuel it's getting. Not good. Hmm. The split is the problem. Yeah, the problem is it has an insatiable demand for fuel. That's the problem. <laughs> You're welcome, QB. Any reason you're not using mines for rock? Yes. Uh, because I've just solved, I've built this so that we can build some iron plates so that we can actually build a mine. That's the reason. Because we were unable to build a mine. Oh yeah, because that's the other reason, because rail tiles. A rail tiles require iron. So I was trying to generate more iron so we can actually build advanced structures. But I was trying to get the iron specifically for something and I can't remember what now. <laughs> oh, that was it. To build the iron carts. <clears throat> We've come full circle. So yeah, basically we're trying to build these things and now we actually can. Because I'm, I'm curious as to how efficient they are. How many items can it carry? Does it carry more items or does it go faster? Copy and paste worker commands, right? Yeah, you can't do that as far as I know. <laughs> it's, I don't know if it's a nice town. It's It's my first town. So they've got stuff here, stuff here. 
Okay, so if we get this guy. Whoa. Wait a minute. How do you use these things? Why can't I tell him to load up here? Oh, these for rails only. Oh, jeez, man. I thought they were a faster version of the wagon. Ay, 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 ay. Well, there goes that idea. <laughs> it's a rail cart, okay. Is that coal? I think I'm going to send that coal into here. Fuel it with coal. This kind of rotating thing is a little bit awkward. I feel. No problem is, we need walkers. fuel. Now we can probably ramp up the worker rate. Actually get some uh, iron plates coming out of this thing. What you need for the track? Uh, the track, I think, am I right in thinking a track has to be made at the machine workshop or something? Let's have a look. It's either going to be the workshop or the machine workshop. It looks like the machine workshop. Yeah, the rail tile. So that's going to take uh, iron plates, planks, stone bricks. Planks we have in plentiful supply uh, stone bricks we should have that's what this one was making but they're selling them uh, this thing gets sold to the market for a member it's taken to the stone mason which sells them at the general store yeah uh, and then there's bricks being made here which are available to use so we've got bricks as well actually so yeah we should be able to make those right son how you doing sir are you well so 
what we can do is build another machine shop. Tell that to build rail tile. Rotate it. It does feel weird, this game, though, because <laughs> what I've noticed as a pattern is you quite often end end up with the entrance turned away from the road so that because the exit point is almost always at the main door. <laughs> well, you can load in from the side, but you can only take out from the front, which means you then want to just literally turn it. So it's kind of weird. So they end up doing that. <laughs> it's Friday, so you can't complain. All right, man from the future. It's only Thursday where I am. <laughs> right, rail tiles. We want to get... Um... So that should no longer be demanding iron plates. So we can basically nick from the same place that it was going is that one otherwise we'll end up or do we take from the central supply let's come back we'll take from there welcome back Mata. so we'll have three wagons I think um, one for the wood, one for the iron plate. So you can take the iron plate there. You can take um, planks from there. And you can take stone from there. That's better. And that should start outputting shortly once the stone arrives. How's the pepper supply going down? <laughs> I think I'm on half a bottle. I've not been going crazy with it. I keep chucking it in things though. Like whenever I have a chili con carne or something, I'll just chuck a load of that in there because the wife doesn't make it hot enough. So that's generally how it's getting used. But yeah, it's, it's nice, man. It's really nice. You can't beat a lovely spicy sauce like that. I would ask how's the cake supply, but I think I know how that went. Wait, why are we... Where's the stone? Come on, man, you're holding it up. Hold a little show here. Looks like we're going to need some more of those. Dude, get off the grass. You're ruining it. And it's slower. Time to send the upgrade jar. <laughs> the upgrade jar? <laughs> do you know what you plan on Saturday's stream, Misty? I'm hoping to do uh, Nürburgring endurance race with um, Dre and Lol Sokia. But quite frankly, I need to practice and I haven't got much time to practice tomorrow. So we'll have to see how it goes. I don't, I don't really want to ruin the race for them <laughs> through lack of practice. But my time is limited. The nice thing about the minecarts is they don't actually need to stop loading on the items, just keep driving. True. Yeah, the Twitch happens. It happens with the Twitch Bob. Right, so we're building up a collection of like these rail tiles and 
you remember, rail tiles are the thing that we need to upgrade down here. We need, oh no, it's like mana crystals we need. We need a rail tiles for something. Oh, the mine, that was it. We need a hundred rail tiles for the mines. I remember. Which happens. Yep. Right. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to leave it there because I've been live for a long time. Uh, nine and a half hours, actually. Blimey. So I'm going to have to head out, I think, and go to bed. All right, Misty. So, yeah, just a reminder there's no stream tomorrow, and I'll be back on Saturday at one o'clock. That's the plan. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks to the mod team for the splendid job, but you guys have been amazing all day anyway. I've not seen an ounce of trouble. So have a good, uh, have a good Friday because I won't be here, unfortunately, but there are satisfactory uh, videos going out every day. If you want to get a bit more factory building done. Uh, and I'll be back on Saturday. So have fun. Take it easy, guys. Love you all. Good night.